When it comes to the center, staying hidden is vital to surviving on PvP servers, so we proudly present Top 10 Bear Caves on the Center. Coming at number 10, this first one can be found at 36.9 latitude and 62 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this first bear cave, I'm going to be honest, there's probably about four of the bear caves on this list that are pretty much identical to this one. They're all just in different spots. So this one is at number 10 because of the location. And overall, I'm not going to lie, it's not a terrible location to build in. The only issue is the cave damage. The cave damage does kind of make these spots kind of bad, honestly. But, I mean, you got a little bit of resources in here. You have a good amount of flat area to work with. It is a decent size. So, if you can figure out how to defend that entrance, it would be a pretty good base location to live in. Or, if you're just looking for a nice little, maybe even like a PvE base to work with, these are honestly pretty good for that too. Coming at number 9, this next location can be found at 32 latitude and 49.6 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now, this one can be found kind of central of the map. Now, this bear cave... The biggest downside with this bear cave is the entrance. By it having a super long entrance, it really does suck because trying to defend it's just going to be a bit of an issue. But yeah, here's what the exterior side looks like. So if you're trying to find these, because the bear caves are a little bit difficult to find, but yeah, that's how you find it. Just kind of look for this giant pillar of a rock, whatever you want to call that. Anyways, coming inside, it's nothing too crazy. I mean, it is a decent amount of room to work with. I mean, you can fit your average Andy Forge in here, you know, everything that you're going to need for a base. Only downside of it is that defending the entrance. That entrance is just super tricky to work with. So if you can figure out how to defend that, maybe whenever cliff platforms are out, it'll make for a pretty good location. Coming at number eight, this next location can be found at 29.2 latitude and 50.4 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this one is directly next to another bear cave, which we'll go over later. Anyways, this bear cave would be much higher up on the list if it wasn't for one key factor. And that key factor is having two entrances. If this one had one entrance, it would be a pretty overpowered spot. Anyways, coming inside of here, as you can see, these entrances are pretty tight. They're pretty easy to work with. And defending it is going to be still be a little bit tricky, but overall it won't be too difficult to do. Anyways, coming inside of here, as you can see, it is a bit of a wider kind of hallway, but it opens up into this absolutely massive bear cave. Now this bear cave does, does have water in it, and... I'm gonna be honest, has quite a bit of room. Like you should not be running out of room in here. If you're on a PVE server, this is a pretty good bear cave to uh, live in. I mean, if you're just looking for a nice little hidden spot to, to work with. But yeah, other than that, it's not a terrible location at all. Coming at number seven, this next location can be found at 31.4 latitude and 56.4 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this one can be found kind of central in the middle of the jungles. I believe that is the south jungle. Anyways, this location is actually it's an okay one, I'll just say that. It's nothing too wild. If you're looking for some really, really good bear caves, go skip ahead to the uh, end of, of the video. Those are all the really, really good bear caves. Anyways, this bear cave is decent. You have a decent amount of room to work with, it, but it's nothing too crazy. So that entrance is a little bit long, which does suck because trying to defend the long entrances is always a pain. But if you know how to build in here and you're looking to build a nice little bit of a smaller base, this definitely works out for you. Coming at number 6, this next location can be found at 32.3 latitude and 57.9 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this one can again can be found in the middle of the jungles. A lot of these are found in, I think it's either jungles north or jungles south. I, for, I always mix up the, the uh, two. But yeah, anyways, most of the bear caves can be found over there. So this location is more of a location for, I guess you would say, either a solo or a duo. So... The only big issue with this location is the size of it, which you will see here in a second. But yeah, overall, it's not a terrible entrance if you know how to defend it. And honestly, you're not going to need much to defend this entrance. I mean, I would just smack a nice little turret tower out front and kind of call it a day. But yeah, this is kind of more of a rat hole style bear cave. Now, there are two of these. I only put one of them in the video because the other one is a little bit smaller and it's harder to work with. But yeah, that's the size of it compared to a foundation, so not that bad at all. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. You just can't fit big things like an Indy Forge. So if you're maybe a solo or a duo looking to kind of stay hidden, you know, not have your name out there too much, this is a decent location for you to live in. This video is sponsored by Mitre 9. Mitre 9 is a Cabo and Kratom company that makes seltzers that quite literally make you feel good. My favorite flavor is tropical. 
Now kava and kratom give you a similar effect to alcohol but without the impairment. It's more like a high. My Turn 9 has really helped me get through long, stressful days. Use my code OUTCAST for 20% off at MyTrend9.com. Must be 18 or 21 in some states. Coming at number 5, this next location can be found at 39.9 latitude and 49.3 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found in jungles mid, almost central of the map. Now this bear cave is actually one of the better ones. So these next five are gonna be your better bear caves, you know, the bigger ones, the easier to work with ones, the ones that don't have crazy long entrances. So yeah, this one is a bit tricky to, to uh, find, so just follow my exact route as you go in and you should find it. Anyways, coming inside of here, you have a decently smaller entrance to work with. I mean, yes, it, it is still a little bit bigger, but you can easily put a nice little turret tower in here or a turret wall. And it's gonna be a bit of a, of a struggle for some people to get in. Now you're working with a lot more room in here, like you can fit your Indie Forge. Don't think the, that you can fit a replicator in here, but you have a lot of room to work with. If you're looking to, you know, maybe breed some dinos while still having a good size base, this is the bear cave for you. Coming at number four, this next location can be found at 41.6 latitude and 55.9 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this one can be found also in jungles mid, pretty much right next to that other bear cave. Anyways, this bear cave is actually one of the better ones, so if you are a smaller tribe looking to hide away and most of the rat holes are already taken, this is a pretty decent spot to actually work with. So this entrance is a bit of a tighter entrance, like yes it is kind of wide, but overall not a bad entrance at all. Now once you come in here, it goes all the way back, this is a super super long bear cave. I don't remember it on ASC, I don't know if maybe it's a new one or not, but for some reason I just don't remember there being this super long bear cave. But yeah, it's not a bad bear cave at all to work with. You have a lot of room to work with. The only downside is the walls aren't super high. So as long as you build something super far into the back in here and you put a lot of defenses, it's going to be a struggle for players to get in here. Coming at number three, this next location can be found at 43.7 latitude and 51.9 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now we're getting into the final three. These final three are the amazing bear caves. Most of you, of you guys are going to know these last three. And starting with this one, this is the one that is right next to the ruins. This is the ruins bear cave. Yes, it's considered a cave. I understand that. However, I'd consider it a bear cave because there's one dire bear spawn and that's in the very back. Anyways, coming in here, they just completely ruined this entire entrance area down here. Um, so if you don't know, back here, there used to be a nice little area where you could put a nice little turret wall in there. And they completely just eliminated that, which does suck. Coming inside of here, this is all the same, you know, the same kind of layout with the path. You even have some water down there, so you can do some water breeding. But they did extend this back area, just slightly, just slightly, you know, nothing too crazy. So, it's not a terrible location to, to work with, and honestly, if there wasn't any cave damage, this spot would be pretty insane and pretty overpowered, but with there being cave damage, it does kind of suck, and unfortunately, it does kind of push these spots down a little bit. But overall, not a bad location at all. Coming at number 2, this next location can be found at 35.6 latitude and 47.7 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this one is the one that is directly above the underworld entrance. This bear cave is a pretty decent one. The only downside of this bear cave is that there's two different entrances. So with there still being two entrances, the sheer size of this thing kind of makes up for it. So here's the outside area to kind of look for. Anyways, follow my exact path of how I get in here, and you should get into it pretty easily. Now, I'm just going to warn you now, if there are no trees up here, somebody is built in here. So, always look out for that. But yeah, coming in here, super, super tight entrance. The only thing that you can fit in here are turtles, I believe. Stegos are actually slightly too big to fit through here, especially through these little tight areas. But yeah, entering in, you have this, this weird lighting bug. Hopefully, that, that gets fixed right there. But yeah, entering in here, you have a pretty good-sized cave to work with. Um, you have a lot of ruins in here, which does kind of help make this cave kind of stand out compared to the others um and then you have that second entrance that's down into the back which does unfortunately kind of suck having it there i wish that that was not there but yeah you have a nice little room in here you know nothing too crazy with this little room just a nice little storage room or maybe just to store your smaller vault storage area i don't really know but yeah coming back in here is the rest of this cave and there's nothing too crazy back here other than that other entrance i mean you have a lot of room to work with back here i would definitely put like a nice little platform just make sure that you block off this second entrance, and I guarantee you, it'll be a really, really good spot to work with. And finally, coming at number one, this next location can be found at 28.7 latitude and 59.6 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now, this is known as Crouch Bear Cave. Unfortunately, it is no longer Crouch Bear Cave, I'll just say that. 
They completely got rid of the entire crouch entrance on this cave, which I'm going to be honest, I kind of like. So with ASC, with the crouch entrance, having it being a crouch entrance, it was almost impossible to always raid these caves just because of the fact that people would put these massive turret walls right behind that crouch and it was so difficult to even throw out any dinos. I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of glad that they did it. So overall, it's a much better cave, it's much better layout, but it also makes it a little bit weaker to work with, so it's not as good. Still, even with the crouch being gone, you have this massive area to work with, you have tons of room to work with as well, and overall, it's actually one of the best caves on the center, in my opinion. So yeah, coming inside, I mean, you can easily build multiple layers in here, tons of room to work with, a decent amount of flat room. They did get rid of the little hiding spot in the ruins in the back, which does suck, but other than that, it does make for a pretty good base spot. Anyways, that's it for today's video. We hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.